Okay, so this second half of the video is going to walk you through how to book the computer-based version of the test. So we would go to IELTS.org, just like we did before. We're going to hit book a test. Your location will be will automatically pop up. What you will need to do when it pops up is hit on the IELTS button and that will outline for you the different areas where the test is available in your um, location. For me, I'm going to change the location to let's say we're going to take the test in Brazil. So let's do that. So I'm gonna select Brazil and of course, it outlines that there are two different types of the test available in Brazil. So there's the IELTS, um, British Council, and there's also the IDP version. There are no differences between the two. The accents will be the same. Um, the examiners will be the same. There are the same criteria for marking. It's just basically your preference as well as what is available in your area. So I'm still gonna go ahead and select IELTS and then I will need to scroll down to find the options. Here it says for computer based options there will be a check mark so I'm just going to select one of these available options. So let's do British Council here. I'm going to go ahead and hit book now. I'm going to register for IELTS on the computer. That essentially takes me to a new screen. I scroll down. Make sure again that you're selecting the IELTS academic version because that is what is needed for these purposes for immigration and for us to pay for your visa screen. So I have selected academic version. I'm taking the test in Brazil as you see. Do you need any special arrangements for this test? Right now I do not. So I'm going to select no but if you need special accommodations you would select yes. Then it asks, when do you want to sit the test? Based on your projected exam date, you would select October or November. Let's say my projected exam date was in November and I'm going to stick with that date. I'm going to select November and I'm gonna choose my location. There are several locations in Brazil where the computer-based test is available. I am just going to go with one. I'm gonna select that and I'm going to select, well, it shows that there's computer-based available. It shows that there is also paper-based available. So for some centers, you will have that option. So the November calendar will pop up or whatever calendar, um, whatever month you have selected, that calendar will pop up. Let's say I'm thinking of taking the test on the 19th. So these are the available dates. I will select the 19th. So now it's telling me that there's only paper based available on the 19th. So let's select another version. Okay. So for November 4th, computer based is available and I'm going to go ahead and select November 1st. I'm going to select the location. Test starting time. It wants me to choose a time. I'd rather test in the morning, like just get it over and be done with it. So I'm going to select 9 a.m. Once I've selected that, it confirms the sometimes I need to be at the center at least 45 minutes before the test starts. The test is going to start at 9 a.m. It's going to end at 11.45 a.m. It is giving me the option, so this site is giving me the option to choose the date and time for my speaking test. Sometimes you might have the speaking test on the same day, sometimes you might not. Okay, so essentially for this location, your testing, your speaking test is going to be in a different location. This may or may not happen depending on where you are and where you're testing and the type of test that you have selected. So for this location, I may have to take the speaking test at a different venue. So I'm going to go ahead and select November 4th for my speaking test as well. I am going to select the time for my speaking test. 
The other aspects of the test will end at 11.45. I am not sure where this location is, where the other location is. So I think I'm gonna select around 4 p.m. for my speaking test. So that will give me time to finish the other parts of the test and be able to get to this new location by 4 p.m. I already have an account. So I did select I already have an account since in the first part of this video, I did walk you through how to create an account. If you do not have an account, you will need to create an account. If you already have an account like I just did, you would select I already have an account. It's prompting me to log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in to continue my booking. And there are some steps that you will need to complete. All right, again, it's confirming the time for the test, both um, parts of the test. It's confirming the locations. I'm gonna go ahead and book test. Who are you booking the test for? If you're booking it for yourself, you're going to select myself. If you are creating an account, you would have already put these information, this information in. So now it's asking me to confirm my name, my date of birth, my email address, my country of residence, the address that my TRF will be mailed to, zip code and state as well as a phone number. And having confirmed all of that, I'm gonna go to the next step. It's asking me to add my ID. I have selected to use my passport, and so I'm just gonna put my passport number in. I am going to put an expiry date. Remember that your passport cannot be expired before the date of the test. And then I'm just gonna put that it expires in 2030. Um, passport issuing country. Add additional details. So you would just go through basically and complete um, whatever information is required of you, your gender, your title, country of nationality, you could put that in as well. First language, you could put that in. How many years have you been studying English? Put that in. Level of education, so there's quite a lot of information that is being asked you would have to fill all of that in. They want to make sure that the right person is taking the test and they're sending the results to the right person. So what is your occupation? Of course, you're going to put in, is there nursing? Are you gonna put health and social services? What occupation level? You would put employee. Why are you taking the IELTS? for employment so you would select that which country territory are you looking to work in of course you're going to put the united states all right you want to confirm that all the information that you have put in is correct and it is prompting you to review your application. Again, just go through, make sure your dates and times are correct. Um, you're taking the test in person, even though it's a computer-based test, you wanna make sure that your name is spelled correctly, your address is um, written properly, and you wanna make sure that your phone number is put in correctly as well. It asks you to agree to the terms and conditions. You click that and then it will take you to payment where you are being asked to put in your name, address, phone number again. Once you have selected your CPF and your CNPJ numbers, then you will select how you want to pay. Are you using a credit card? Um, there is no option here to pay cash so you would have to select one of the options that are here so i'm going to select pay online
it's asking me to select my payment option and then it's asking me to put my card details in my building address in and then continue with the payment again it's pretty simple to book your IELTS exam on your own you do not have to pay a third party um, entity to book your exam if you have further questions and concerns or you need more clarifications as to how to schedule your IELTS exam on your own please reach out to your assigned specialist at. Oh, yeah.